Missouri Business Today, this week's development news. Hi, I'm Amy Susan, Communications Director for the Missouri Department of Economic Development. Missouri's booming bioscience community has attracted yet another overseas ag tech company to the Show Me State. Last week, Israeli company Forest Innovations announced its selection of St. Louis as the location for its new U.S. headquarters. The company is working at the forefront of technology to address two major challenges in the outdoor environment, and its decision to move to Missouri represents the third success in seven months for a local organization. BioSTL's initiative to target Israeli companies for recruitment. And the state's ag tech industry also gained some national recognition this week, with Forbes magazine naming St. Joe America's fourth strongest city for farming and agribusiness. There are currently more than 5,300 agribusiness jobs in St. Joe, and the city saw growth of more than 159 percent in this industry over the past 10 years. St. Joseph's nearby neighbor, Kansas City, is also growing its animal health community, recently attracting Texas-based animal health data and analytics company Rex to the city. Both St. Joseph and KC are major hubs with the Kansas City Animal Health Corridor, which hosts 75% of the world's businesses in this industry. In this week's tech news, Kansas City is taking a step towards its goal of becoming America's most entrepreneurial city with the unveiling of its newest community action plan, We Create Capital. Under the new plan, the region is seeking to better fuel early stage startups, create jobs, and spur economic growth by creating more awareness for available startup funding sources and ultimately bringing more entrepreneurs and financiers together. The city's plan to support more startups is sure to lead to substantial job growth across the state with a region recent Kauffman Foundation study finding that young firms are responsible for creating two-thirds of the new jobs in the country. Governor Jane Nixon last week joined the President's Export Council in Washington, D.C. for a panel discussion on 21st century competitiveness. The panel came in advance of the governor leading a business delegation to the International Paris Show this week, where the state will seek to recruit additional foreign investment in the aerospace and advanced manufacturing sectors, strengthen relationships with Missouri's current global companies, and increase exports. Aerospace already plays a big role in Missouri exports, with the industry seeing an 88 percent increase in exports sales in the first quarter of 2015 from the first quarter of last year. Missouri exports overall increased 6.4 percent during this period. Fortune Magazine's annual Fortune 500 list is now out and confirms that 10 of the nation's most profitable companies are headquartered right here in the Show Me State. These 10 long-standing Missouri companies together provide stable, high-paying jobs to thousands of workers across the state and pay billions of dollars in wages each year. For the full news coverage, visit the Missouri Business Today webpage. And that's what's going on in this week's development news.